everybody, Mac. We are here boss hunting down at the spit in Mossman with the brand new Pardo 38. Is this the best European luxury day boat you can get on in the harbour right now? Probably I think, is. I think it is. $1.1 million this boat is and it's a 38 foot beast. Looks incredible. It's got a four berth actually as well. Uh, it's got triple Mercury V8s on the back and uh, we're going to actually take this thing to work. We are. Yeah. <laughs> the best commute of our lives. Yeah, seriously. All right, let's do it. Ooh. How bloody good. Whoa. The quality of the finishing is just unbelievable. Like the wood finishing, this is all carbon. This You've got from, like Safari this skylights. Comes from the same carbon factory as Lamborghini. Does it? It does. Wow. Very cool. Look, it's got everything. This is literally everything you could ever need. I know. Like, we said that about the Axe Bar 28, and we were obviously completely wrong. Because this yeah, is everything you ever need. Level up, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, let's start with the aft deck. Uh, first off, this can actually be covered with shade cloth. So you can put some carbon poles in here and then you can bring the shade. See, it's got the, the, the D-ring there. And then pull that all the way out over to the back so you can completely cover this rear table. This is uh, foldable, of course. That can be smaller, larger, however you want it to be. It also goes down into the floor. And then these cushions can come together. So you got a big, nice day bed on the back. Oh. Seating for six people very comfortably. I mean, what, if not what eight, I reckon. If not eight, really. Yeah. Uh, also, fridges in here. One here, one here, and you one here. Little day fridges here and for one your, there as well. The uh, rosés, your ciders. Quick, easy access. It's all about quick, easy access with your drinks. Of course. A little kitchenette here as well. A little burner, sink. You could, like, you could easily spend multiple days on this boat. Can you? Easily. We haven't even looked into the cabin yet either. No, we haven't yet. Full walk around hull, you'll notice that the hull is completely flush. G'day, Joe. Hey, g'day, how are you? <laughs> this cockpit is like, it's something else, isn't it? It's a proper operation. Uh, obviously, beautiful day bed up the front. Can't go wrong. Uh, it's designed to be, yeah, entirely walk around, so nice and safe. I, uh, I wall on the side there too, so the kids won't fall out. Okay. Well, it's actually in here, and then it pops out. I'll show you some B-roll of that now. It pops out from the front, and then drops down to avoid, you know, messing up the lines of the boat. Which is genius. Amazing. A couple of honeys on the front deck here, obviously. <laughs> and uh, a few drinks in hand. <laughs> what more could you want? I feel like, Jack, and I think you'll agree, this is a solid boat. It's such, I think it's eight tons, is or it? nine yeah. tons, versus that Axa Par 38 there is in the vicinity, the of, is in the vicinity of two or three tons. So this is a significantly heavier boat. It makes the Axe Part 28 look like a Significantly tire. more expensive as well. Yes, that's fair. But you know what you're getting. Quality for the Classically price. Classically Italian design and quality. We're ready to go. Ready to go. Perfect. Let's do it. To Thank Tawula you. To Alright, <laughs> at your service. Nice. Keeping it all flush. I mean, like the, the wood, this this sort of like brush teak deck is it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, here we go. The joystick. I actually cannot believe how high up we are off the water like it just it's such a bizarre feeling on a boat of this size to be that high out of the water that was so easy he's done this a few times though i reckon old joe Once or twice. <laughs> high up. like we're like on a big yacht what a lovely day to be back all right, fellas, so we've somewhat dissected the uh, the aft deck. What are we talking with these uh, these triple Mercuries? Yeah, so the standard comes as twin 300s. Yeah. Um, this has got the upgrade package to add another engine. And um, you can also do this model in inboard diesels. So oh, really? You have an in engine under the table here, or two engines, and stern drives with a platform out the back. Yeah, right, so just to maximise the, the deck space. Maximise the deck space. It's a different kind of drive. It's not as fast. It's not as torquey. Yeah. Does that impact the uh, the rear space downstairs? No, no not doesn't. at all. No. So there's a dedicated engine bay. Is it right? Um, this is, you know, your performance package for those of us that like. You need equipped. the three three hundreds. I feel. Yeah, yeah. You know, the must, four might be overkill. Get. I think, but you can't do four, can you? No, you can't. No, you can't no. do oh, four. Do you, oh, you, oh, you sorry. Got to do two this or three. is the extra. Okay, yeah, right, right, right. Two or three. This is the added. You can gotcha. upgrade to triple three fifties as well, <laughs> but they're not as powerful, believe it or not, because really? they're they're an inline six engine. So the V8s have got more grunt. So. There you go. There you the, go. The winners, They're the big boys. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So discuss briefly here the table back setup where you can pop these. Table goes down. Yep. Cushion goes on top. Huge day bed. Yeah. You yeah. can make these adjustable as well. So you know this backrest at the moment. Yeah. Can become a you know, headrest if you're lying down. Okay. Lovely. Sure. Yeah. 
a couple of good speakers I've seen in the back here. How many were you talking on the whole boat, do you reckon? We've got six throughout. Six throughout. kind of intermediate speaker package. Yeah. Um, you can upgrade even further, um, you know, subwoofers the like. Yeah, lovely. I see the fuel tank there. Yes. How much are we talking in? Thousand uh, litres. Thousand litres. Okay. A thousand litres. And, and this how is... How far will that take you at, oh. at a cruise speed? Oh, at a cruise speed you get 200 miles, just over okay. 200 miles. Nice. Nautical miles. Yeah. So 1.8 to, to yeah. kilometres. Yeah. Awesome. So, it's um the these engines are very efficient too, but not as well. Yeah. Yeah. Speed, yeah. So. Little side door here as well, so you can uh, access. pop out. So yep. for Just... those elderly guests or young children, you jump overboard, you jump Easy. overboard, or park it alongside the dock there. Nice, really yeah. nice. Yeah, nicely moulded into the into the combing as well. Something I thought was really cool as well in terms of access. Come behind you. Look at this little thing here. Just pop her open. And it's ah, a step. That's a step. So. It's just like a little, it's like made out of wood. It's kind of weird to look at it as I a know. step. I don't know. I just it's very cool though to get onto your bigger boat. Of course, yeah, yeah. So you're transferring from your 1.2 million dollar tender to your 50 million dollar super yacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, exactly. cool. Yeah. Take a look at the helm. I reckon I could even drive this boat, which is saying probably something. could. <laughs> we might even let you be lucky. <laughs> this is a, this is a serious uh, serious setup, even more so than. You ever driven a million dollars? Uh, um, the oh, you rolls. Cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I also have driven two million dollars. Um, so this is a joystick system. What's it called again? So this is like uh, day boating for dummies in the joystick. joystick. I believe so. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. literally point it where you want to go. If you want to spin around, you spin. Yeah. If you want to turn left, you push left. Yeah, it's called it's called the JPO system. Yeah. Mercury JPO. Okay. Um, and yeah, it just makes it easier if, if you're not quite confident using the wheel and. Yeah, the beautiful. Buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then bow thruster here, left or right. Lovely. A couple of drink holders. What is the top speed of this boat? It's about 45 knots. Yeah. In good conditions, we'll get it to 45 today. Well, that little cruise just then, it felt so smooth. I don't know if that's the nature of the water today or the boat, but incredibly smooth. And you also feel incredibly high out of the water mm. versus most small kind of day boat runabouts. Definitely. Yeah. It's a very, very cushioned ride, I think, with that sharp entry bar. Yeah. This, um, takes a lot of the slamming out of it. This T-top here, you were saying, is manufactured in the same place that they do carbon fiber for Lamborghini, or? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. the same, same OEM guys for that. This yeah. one's standard as well on all models, the T-top standard option. Okay. Oh, is it? Option, but wow. It's, yeah, it's, quite a, quite a kind of it's just essential for Australia. I find a lot of these European boats sometimes, they don't come with a lot of the sun protection that yeah, you would right. expect or you'd hope for. Yeah. And then you have to pay big dollars to get it. Mm. Do you um, downstairs? In the yeah, let's do, let's do downstairs. Big queen bed here. Plenty Ooh. of room. Lovely queen bed. You probably can't stand up in here, but most people... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> so it's nice and low, so you can you can sit on it. You know, you've got plenty of headroom. Yeah. Um, You're definitely not cramped down here compared to. Oh, yeah. Feels good. So Got myself waking up here. It's actually a, like a decent sized double bed too. It's not it like is. one of these like mm -hmm. pokey sort of yeah, or like sort of high cramped in two two thirds, three quarters sort of double beds. It's actually a full size double bed. You're saying these windows here on the right and the left hand side actually just go out to the footwell, don't they? Mm. That runs around the side of the boat, so that doesn't interrupt the lines of the uh, the hull. Exactly, yeah. So that slab sided hull is really quite nice to look at. So having the window in it would be uh, you know, a waste of good design so this is actually in the footwell so you get natural light but without interrupting the outside of the boat and you can take the uh cushion off the top and then that pop that out there as well and then you can have some fresh air and correct yeah, it's got fly, fly screen blackout blind all of that brilliant Maybe a bit of storage as well underneath here yeah. off to the side Glass off to this left here. side also just like it, it doesn't feel like the every single space is taken up with something you know it's like there's a bit of negative mm. space okay? yeah, it's, it's okay to have room. a bit of room like yeah exactly. I mean, it's, it's access you yeah know, it's access to the bed yeah yeah side access so they've kind of thought about each little thing right so this is the shower and bathroom, shower and bathroom. Toilet, yeah. showers up on the left hand side there little skylight i mean it's very nicely done we were saying before like the finishings of this boat this are... door is so heavy like most boats it would just be a piece of fiberglass yeah 100 percent. but this is like a genuinely heavy wooden door and then two more beds down here there we go and that's like hang on take that i'm gonna yeah, go, down. Down. go in there johnny mac yeah it's a good idea I mean, this, like, I'm six foot five, and I can. Oh, right, a big fella. <laughs> I could genuinely have a nice, comfortable sleep in here. Well, look, it's, it's much bigger than a, than a business class plane seat, that's for sure. Yeah, it certainly is. There's so much storage up through here, too. It's just like shoes, iPhones, whatever you want. Like, that's what I feel like this. Ooh, that's what I feel like this boat really excels. Is it's not trying to squeeze absolutely everything out of every little. Nook and cranny. No. Yeah, exactly. You don't feel like 
you're on a small... Because there's so much volume in it, they don't have to try and find nooks and crannies for every single this, thing. This is all, like, this is, I'm looking through here, this is literally all storage. Pass me that. Pass me the camera. See? Plenty of storage in here. Lots going on. And then, up here, down there. And then you've got even more headspace and light room up there. You can see up through to the the helm. Probably more storage down there too. Lights, chargers. I mean, very, very comfortable for a couple of kids, even a couple of adults in my opinion. Absolutely. After you. And apparently you can also put that as a double bed as well if you want. Oh really? With a partition so you can have two different couples lying here instead of the kids. Oh, yeah. nice. Exactly. After you. You could very easily see yourself just spending days on the harbour doing nothing on this boat and it'd be so nice. Do you want to have a, have a play with that? Sure. So twist it. Twist, twist it to twist. Twist to twist. Oh. So I'm literally just twisting and we're just spinning, spinning the way I'm twisting. Oh, epic. And then I want to go forward, for example. Push it forward. It's quite smooth, so you can push it quite far and then you know, we get five, I mean, six, That five. is so easy. easy. That. And I want to go right a bit. Just twist it. Oh, no. Yeah, just twist it. Push forward and twist. There we go. Oh. That is just so easy. So Joe was just telling us as well that it's actually got a, a function where you can essentially hold, it's called Skyhook, it kind of holds the boat at a GPS coordinate, I guess. Okay. It's, it's like an anchor without using an anchor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like what they do on, um, I was watching a documentary with um, diving and dive belts and oil rigs and stuff and they, they need that sort of global positioning uh, fix in the ocean and then all the engines just move independently to keep you in that spot. Engines are literally moving on their own. To so keep us in. Here, it's, uh, yeah, it's pulling us back to the point where I press the button. Yeah. Yeah, right. So it's actually auto correcting itself back a couple of meters. Wow. How, how is it with the wind and the swell? Like, is it still pretty accurate? Like, yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah it has to work harder with, in a crosswind or with swell pushing it. Yeah. Um, not as yeah. serene. <laughs> yeah. Not as serene as an anchor. No. I must admit. It's not, no. <laughs> No, it's more of a temporary thing for yeah. fenders and lines or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you're a one-man band as well and you need to run up and down the boat and do something or... Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can just... Are there, are there ladders off the back? So there's a ladder in the storage which, which goes in those two sockets there. All oh, right. And then if you fall in on your own, there's also an emergency ladder down here. Ah. Which you can pull out because otherwise you've got, you got nowhere getting in. Oh, this. look at him go. That's very cool. Oh, very cool. That's very, very cool. All right, let's um, yeah. let's give it a bit, hey. All right, let's go. Forty five. You promised us forty five knots, Joe. I want to say forty five knots. Nice to drive, Johnny. Nice to drive. Thanks to Joe, we've had the ultimate commute to work. This boat is actually for sale right now. It is. So it's yet to be snapped up. One point. Oh, look, you know what? Joe will do you a deal, that's all we'll say. say. Cool. Yeah. Give Come Joe a buzz. buzz. Talk numbers. But um, this is the Pardo 38. Thanks very much for having us, dude. Appreciate no it. Thank you. Until next time. Yeah, good to Thank see you, you. Guys again. Oi, oi. What are the odds? <laughs> My boy Johnny's gonna just help gonna us out. out of the, the marina. <sighs> 